shooting the Mosin and Nagan with some surplus ammo. I don't know. Did this say 180 grain, Jill? Yes, no. I don't know. Talk. Anyways, I'm gonna actually shoot a group with this with the bayonet on. I've never really shot a group with the Mosin, really. Yes. It looks like you're pointing over there. I can't help it. I have to ask. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I'm going for the bottom target. And this is going to hurt my shoulder. I know it. Go see. It's, okay. our, it's just on pause. <laughs> Don't tell me. Well, this isn't too far away, but honestly, this is the best I've ever shot with the freaking Mosin. Um, it's like uh, maybe a touch under a two inch group at like, I don't know, 40 yards or something. But I swear the Mosin doesn't shoot that great. And so to even have them like this close to the center is pretty awesome. Jill hates it. Okay, the first group I did with the Mosin was with the bayonet. So I'm just seeing how it changes without the bayonet. Same ammo, same everything. Same target, just no bayonet. I'm aiming at basically the same place as far as I can tell. Ow! That one hurt. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, as you can see, it's actually a pretty big change. And super crazy vertical stringing. And a little bit to the right. So this is the first group, and this is the second one. So the bayonet definitely helps for sure, like a lot. This group's like half the size of this one. 